What's up with the dream? How are you feeling? Awesome, you guys. Before, before I get into my content, I just want to take a quick second to just thank Brian, Norbert, Todd, Roxana, and the Amalaski crew for throwing this little shindig. You guys rock. And thank you guys for, for uh, being committed enough to your business, taking the, uh, the time and the financial investment in your business, for being here at Live the Dream 4. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well, this, is, uh, this is my fourth, my fourth Live the Dream event. Four, four out of four. It's pretty good. Steve Jaffe could not argue with those statistics. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what I'm going to be talking about, you guys, is uh, uh, destroying the brick wall. How to basically skyrocket your sales conversions by destroying this invisible brick wall that exists between you and your prospects. And this, this, uh, this wall exists in any type of direct selling or direct marketing situation. Uh, so if you're wondering why strangers aren't taking action with you on the internet, it's because of this brick wall. I'm going to show you how to destroy it. And uh, it's funny, I was, I was putting this presentation together and I almost called it penetrating the wall. And then I'm like, wait a minute, you can't talk about penetration on stage out of the dream. Because <laughs> it has more than one meaning. <laughs> So, okay, so and the reality is, you guys, I've got, uh, I could talk about this topic all day. Sales conversions, not penetration. And, <laughs> and I, but the reality is, when we get 10 minutes, I'm going to share three golden nuggets with you guys. Okay, so just three golden nuggets. Get ready to write these down. But before I even get into that, it, you know, when I was putting this presentation together, I'm like, I'm like, what's the real bare bones reason? Like, strip away all the layers. What's the real reason why most marketers don't get very good conversions? Do you want to know what it is? It's, it's because most marketers, they either don't take enough action, or they don't take the right action, or they don't take enough of the right action. So if, if, if this stuff is going to work that I'm about to share with you, then I'm going to know that I'm dealing with a room full of action takers. So if you're an action taker, raise your hand. All right, that's just about all the hands in the room. Keep your hands up. All right, say, I am an action taker. I am an action taker. One more time, I am an action taker. I am an action taker. All right, do you guys like free, free stuff? Yeah. yeah. All right, I've got a free gift for you. The only way to get the free gift is to come up to the front of the stage right now. You can also see Burke Lesto right there. Go to Jeremy Howie. Right there, Jeremy's right there. See Jeremy, he's got a bunch of these things. Boom. Come on, come on, everyone, let's go, let's go, let's go. Everyone, come on. Define your avatar, okay? So you gotta define your avatar. So who's your perfect prospect? What are the characteristics of your perfect prospect? Just saying, just saying I wanna work with network marketers, I wanna attract network marketers is not good enough. It's way too broad. Okay, this is marketing 101, you guys. This is a writer downer. Marketing to everyone is marketing to no one. So, uh, if you're, uh, most marketers, the, the mistake that most marketers make is they focus entirely on the marketing message before they ever clearly define the market. So, who is your perfect prospect? What are the characteristics of your perfect prospect? I want you to write down 25 characteristics of your perfect prospect. You can start the list now finish it later when you're at home, it's fine. So here's some questions to get you started. Are they single moms? Do they have young families? Did they just get out of college? Or are they approaching retirement? Do they have corporate jobs? Or do they own a brick and mortar business? 
How much money do they make in a year? Are they brand new to network marketing or are they seasoned veterans with big teams? How many of you guys think that a brand new network marketer who just started in his business yesterday and the seasoned veteran who has been in the industry for 10 years and has 15,000 reps on his team, that those two people have completely different sets of problems and challenges in their business? I mean, right? Right? So let's talk about once you have your avatar defined, how do you how do you connect to these people? So how many of you use Facebook graph search? Raise your hand if you use Facebook graph search. Okay, not not too too many people. So basically just uh, basically just telling Facebook on the on the search bar on Facebook, Facebook so let's say my avatar is a skier or snowboarder like me. I say Facebook, show me friends of my friends who like Vail, Colorado, who follow Eric Ward. Facebook, show me friends of my friends who like snowboarding who follow Danny Johnson. Facebook, show me friends of my friends who like Transworld Snowboarding, which is just a popular snowboarding magazine, who live in San Diego, California, and who follow Jonathan Budd. Now, it's, you guys see that it's easy to connect to people if you, if you know your avatar and you know that, that you have a, common, a commonality with that avatar, it's easy to connect with them. I could simply say, hey, what's up? I came across your profile. I see that you like Vail and you're a network marketer. I wonder what else you have in common. By the way, do you ski or do you snowboard? Like that's, a, that's an icebreaker, that's an icebreaker to, to connect with somebody like that, right? And now here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, rather than going through where I would take that conversation from there, I'm gonna host a webinar this coming Tuesday. Most likely we're all gonna be home on Tuesday. On those business cards, there's a link to a Facebook fan page, right? I'm gonna post the link to the webinar on the Facebook fan page, and I'll do this Tuesday at, at 9 p.m. Eastern, right? And I'll, and I'll show you basically where to take the conversation from there once you're connected with that person, okay? So, so how to, and how to ask a few questions of that person uh, that basically gets them to beg you for your link to your solution, whether that's your business opportunity or your MLS key system. Does that sound good? Okay, here's the catch though. The only way that I'm gonna even do that webinar is if you all vote for me and if I win, okay? <laughs> okay. That's it, or, or you all miss out. Okay, because okay, okay, we talked about commonality. Rule number two is you wanna speak their language. So what do I mean by speak their language? People, people do business with people that they, that they see that are like them. People like to do business with people that are like them. So what else do I mean by speak their language? All of your marketing, your content, your ads, your emails, your social media posts are all designed to attract the avatar. Okay, and right now, we're just planting the explosives in the wall right now, okay? Because uh, golden nugget number three is where we destroy the wall. So golden nugget, nugget number three, position yourself as the authority. This, this is where the wall really comes down. Now, what do I mean by position yourself as the authority, or how do we position ourselves by, as the authority? Well, it's important to understand, first of all, that you don't have to be generating X number of leads a day or have signed up X number of people in your business for you to be viewed as an authority. I mean, Diane Hopkins is not gonna come to your house and wave a magic wand in front of your face and poof, you're an authority. It doesn't, doesn't work like that. You know, when, you know when you get to be an authority here? The moment that you decide to start acting like one. Isn't that wonderful news? You can do that right now. You can make that decision right now. This weekend. How many of you guys are gonna go home from this event and start operating in your business with the belief, from the, from the core belief level, that I am the leader that people are looking for? Yeah? Yes, you're gonna do that? Awesome, awesome, you guys. That was, that was an affirmation that has been huge for me. I am the leader that people are looking for, okay? So, talk about how to position yourself as the authority of running out of time faster, you guys. Pictures and videos of leaders, uh, a lot of you guys doing that this weekend. Uh, take and share group pictures. One of the reasons why this is really cool is because if I'm, if I'm by myself and I see you uh, with a group of people, like on your Facebook header, then I'm going to think that I'm gonna be psychologically attracted to you. Just like Diane was talking about, it's, it's a chemical thing. I'm, I won't even be able to explain why I'm attracted to you. And the reason for that is because our ancestors, when they were alone, they were vulnerable. They were in danger. When they, when they were 
in a group of people or a tribe or a community, that's where, that's where there was safety. So that's a psychological attraction here. Oh, okay, post pictures of you teaching, provide exceptional value through content, host webinars, only leaders host webinars, you guys gotta host, host your own webinars, create a training boot camp or an ebook, and qualify prospects. Now real quick, real quick, real quick. Okay, I'm gonna, I've got a 30, 30 seconds, 30 seconds you guys, 30 seconds you guys, I've got, I've got an amazing tip for qualifying prospects, it's a ninja tip for qualifying prospects, and, 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 creating instant authority with your prospects. If you guys want, want to give me 30 more seconds, yeah. make some noise, make some noise. Here, here's the, how many of you have a work with me page on your blog? <laughs> how many of you have a work with me page on your blog? How many of you have an application, an application to work with you on your work with me page? Yeah, probably not too many people, right? Okay, here's what you do. Go to jobform.com, create, create a, 10, a 10 question application that prospects have to fill out in order to work with you. So this makes you look like a leader who takes his or her business seriously and, and, that, uh, and only works with people who qualify. So, so real quick, the 10th question on my application, I'm not gonna go through all 10, but the 10th question simply says, why should we choose to work with you over other applicants. And I had a guy just the other day that submitted that question, or submitted his application and said, said, because I'm ready to get started now. Now, do you guys think it would be a little easier to close people in your business and sell products if you qualified them by having them submit an application and they told you on the application that they were ready to get started now? Yeah. Would, it, would that make it a little bit easier? Yeah. All right, vote for me. My name is Adam Chandler. Thank you very much. I tried, guys, I tried.